almost 500 finalists from uh, all 10 provinces and three territories. We have delegations from Australia and uh, Taiwan. Uh, and they've had a great week here in PEI, uh, from the opening ceremonies with uh, island uh, talent, uh, Chuck and Albert, Ken Strings and a Goat Skin. We had a great uh, kitchen party theme for opening ceremonies. Uh, and the students started getting down to work on, uh, on Monday, practicing their projects. And Tuesday was Judgment Day, where all the students uh, uh, were judged. to uh, host the fair uh, for a number of years prior to my involvement in the PEI Science Fair, but as soon as I became chair of the PEI Science Fair and we were asked yet again, I immediately said yes, uh, because I think it's a great opportunity not only uh, for island students, we'll have 2,700 island students touring at the exhibit hall talking to the finalists over this week. Uh, and, and we see that as a great legacy for science education in the province to get you know, school-age children excited about science, getting them curious, curious their, their ideas and innovations around discovery. They'll get to talk to all these finalists, uh, and we're hoping that'll plant a seed uh, in their minds in terms of uh, you know, thinking about not only science as a career, but, but a little bit more science literacy within society. So, you know, I, I know the potential benefits of, uh, of having something like this here. It was, to me, it was a no-brainer. Uh, and we put together a great team of about 21 individuals to coordinate the entire day. something that you've never known before and being inspired by it and taking it to the next level. 